Today I'm going to be customizing my Pro Controller. As you can see, I've already done one handle because I got the price yesterday and I was too excited. I couldn't help but just test it out a little bit, but I'll show you what I got and then we can get to assembling it. I got everything from Extreme Rate. So first I got the handles in Sakura Pink. Then I got the buttons in Sakura Pink. The thumbsticks in Sakura Pink. And the faceplate and backplate in Heaven Blue. I cut out a lot of the start of it because to be honest, I won't lie, it was pretty boring. But here I'm just putting on the thumbsticks. And these were so easy to put on. At first I was considering getting the lilac faceplate instead of the blue, but I'm really glad that I chose the blue instead because I think the purple would have been too pastel. And don't get me wrong, I love pastels, but I like the contrast between how bright the blue is and how muted the pink is. Also from seeing photos and videos of the purple, it seems quite grey toned and I think the controller would have looked a bit washed out. Anyways, this took me almost two hours to do. Disassembly the controller was so fast, but it took so long to screw everything back together and at one point I kept dropping screws inside and I'd have to keep removing everything and putting it back together and that happened at least twice. I would suggest organizing your screws so you can keep track of them and use the right size screwdriver and also be careful when you're removing the screws and make sure you push the screwdriver in with a good amount of force. I had also heard of some people damaging a ribbon when they removed the metal bar near the Z or ZL buttons and after their button stopped working and I was really paranoid about this so I'll show you where it is in this picture. On the right you see that's where you take out the metal rod and then on the left that's the ribbon that lies underneath it. I actually think I scratched it a tiny bit with my tweezers and that was when I really thought the controller was done for but it still works the same as always. And honestly, the circuit boards and ribbons are relatively more durable than I thought. Obviously, still be careful, but I was just really paranoid. Like, I was afraid to touch the circuit board with my hand because I thought I was going to do something to it. And I thought I was, like, gripping the ribbon with my tweezers too hard, but it ended up fine. I'm going to be swapping out the shells on my Joy-Cons too. Um, I ordered parts and they should be here sometime in April. So I'll do a video on that then. And in the meantime... If you have any critiques on how I could improve this type of video, let me know. Because for making this, I can see I can definitely improve the lighting and angle that I used. And maybe do less of a voiceover. I don't know. Tell me if you find this voiceover annoying or helpful. You know what? I'm going to test it out. I'm going to go and come back and you tell me how you feel about it. Okay, I'm back. Intermission is over. Let me know what you thought about that. Personally, I think it might be a bit awkward, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, I would definitely recommend Extreme Rate for these parts. They're all very good quality. They feel really good. They look really good, so I'm super happy with it. I never want to play my Switch in handheld mode anymore because I'm just always so excited to use this controller. Like in general, I love playing on the TV before, but now I'm just even more excited about it, even though I'm gonna go on a tangent here, but my TV is so bad playing on because I use my brother's old TV and when I say old, that thing is a retro. I can't even get the display to fit the right size, so no matter what I do, something is cut off from the screen. I've been playing so much Stardew Valley lately and whenever I played that on the TV, I can't see my energy, so kind of living life on the edge or whatever. 
I also got the game Calico recently and I haven't played it yet but I was thinking I could do maybe a let's play or something for YouTube because I think that would seem pretty fun even though I don't know if anyone would be interested in watching me play games but I might do it anyway even though my setup is by no means a setup whatsoever. Anyways, please enjoy some ASMR right now, courtesy of me. Okay, it's all done. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I actually did it. I'm so happy with it. Here it is again. Cool. Also, again, next month I will be doing something similar to my Joy Cons. I'll be swapping out this skin that I've had for about a year. I won't tell you what it is, but I'll give you a very obvious hint. Oh, look! Here come Amara and Michelle! Oh, great. Why do you think they've entered the contest? They're girls and cousins, too! Amara, Michelle! Fantastic! You're the best cousins in the world!